<laughs> this is a sad goodbye today. When Paige was about four months old, um, I at that point I had not been using a car. I was uh, riding a bike. I had a, a a mountain bike that I loved to use, and even in the winter I rode my mountain bike everywhere. And I lived out in the country, so it was quite a commute. So when I had a baby. It was quite an adjustment uh, to use a car. So what initially I did is I had a $20 um, bike trailer that cargo. I it was a cargo I turned it into a cargo trailer. Oh, gotcha. But it started out as a bike trailer, and I had used it to carry my big dog around behind me so he could come with me. And then when I had a baby, what I did is... I reinforced it, added baskets, and then I strapped her car seat into one of the baskets in the bike trailer. Did... <sighs> Sorry. Do you want to wait till the video's over? Um, and so she, the problem was that she was starting to outgrow her car seat. So I, I'd strapped her into her car seat. And then I had strapped that into the cargo trailer. And she was getting bigger and she was getting bigger. And so I was looking up bike trailers that you could put a baby into. And we found the Chariot Cougar, which is a two-seater. And it cost me, I'm ashamed to say, it cost me $600. And I had the money. <laughs> so I bought it. And the reason is this. Now, I've had this in storage out in a box. This is just dust. There's actually, it hasn't had mice or anything in it. And this is the little sling. And what you do is you take this and it snaps through this, through these, and snaps over their head like in a, in a car seat. And then this attaches to the front here and to the back there. And it's this little sling that just swings in the middle. And then it also has this. And this is for a toddler, like one that can hold its head up. And this one straps in the same way with the little loops that come over the front and this secures in the bottom. So you have one that supports their head and supports the sides of them. And that's super nice. And then it has these lighting strips that go along the outside of the cart that are LEDs and they blink very brightly. Then you have the little wheels. There it is in its storage position and there it is in its down position. So if you're on sidewalks, it's easier than using the jogging attachment. The jogging attachment goes from here out to a central wheel. And the central wheel attaches back here when you're not using it. But I didn't like the jogging attachment because it didn't turn very easily when it had the jogging attachment on. So when I was in the city, I much preferred just to use the little stroller wheels. And then on top of that, there's of course the bike attachment. And this cart also has a brake. I have the brake set right now. This is the cargo space. And it has a little, this is for your keys, another place for cargo, and then this pulls over the top in case there's rain. And then the rain fly works fantastically. We would get soaking wet when we were out in the rain, but the kids never got a drop on them. And then this just folds up. So for me, this is really sad. I, <laughs> this is what we use in the summer, in the spring, in the fall, to get around, to go to the library, to take the kids just about everywhere. But we weren't really able to use it once we got, once we got out here because it has these special shocks that are adjustable and you set the shock lighter for little babies and then you set it heavier the bigger your kids get. And we used to haul groceries in the back of it with the bikes. We were on the bikes a lot, weren't we? I was in the bikes a lot with right. little girls, I guess. I was there on weekends. On weekends, he would come and we would go get groceries with the bike cart. And it was super fun. 
But now that the little girls got so big, like when Paige got really big, it, it does have a 100 pound limit and she was a very nice, healthy child. So or, she reached that at three weeks old. Or she <laughs> could ride a bike and I could ride it very hard. Yeah. So anyway, it yeah, was it, just... It, it feels like we quickly outgrew it. Well, Paige was still able to ride in it up until she was about six. Right. And then at that point, we it were out here and everything was a minimum of two miles away. Yeah, away. everything was two miles away, and the roads aren't safe. Our our speed limit is forty miles an hour, but people go down it at sixty. It's more of a guideline than a rule. And there's no margin on the side. It's it's either bur burrow pit or road. So people just aren't very polite to to uh, bikers out here. So it's a Cougar two. We've had it for eight years. And you can see it's just in fantastic shape. <laughs> I mean, none of the plastic is cracked. We took really good care of it. We kept it in the shade. And the reason I'm saying this is today we're selling it. And I feel a little bit heartbroken. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit heartbroken. Because it's such an amazing tool. It's, it, it, no part of it has run down at all. A lot of trailers you'll get like cracked plastic or broken fabric. And this one... This one was really expensive. If we'd had more children, it would have paid for itself a lot, you know, better. But um, we only had two kids, so it only got used for two kids, and now we're selling it to somebody who's going to be able to get a lot of use out of it. And so they're just high quality. They're just really high quality. What do you think we spent on it? I know we spent 600 on the trailer itself. And that came with... Got, girls, please get out of the garage so you're not running into it. Or other things you shouldn't be running into. You're not supposed to be around the so cars anyway. Close to 300 in accessories. So we spent close to a grand on Yeah, we spent pretty close to $1,000. We didn't buy all the accessories at the same time. First, we bought the trailer with the bike attachment. And, um, and with the little hammock. No, the stroller wheels were the last thing because I got the hiking wheels thinking they would be enough, but because they didn't pivot mm -hmm. at all, it was really hard to go for walks on it because you always had to jerk, you had to lift the cart up from the back, lift the front up a bit to get it to turn. And so once we started using it more, I got the stroller tires and, um, it also had a cross-country ski attachment and a hiking attachment, but we don't get enough consistent snow to ever do the cross-country thing. And the hiking attachment, because the trailer is wide, the hiking attachment hitched into the same place as the, um, as the bike hitch did. And so it puts you quite a bit far out in front of the trailer. And you had these handles that you held on to that were actually what you held on to to balance the cart on the two wheels on the back. And so on any kind of difficult trail, the odds of you falling onto the trailer or having the trailer pull you down the mountain were probably pretty good. So we never, we never got those and we didn't really do those kind of activities. We just used it for in-town use. And that back container flips up. It's just been a fantastic tool and we've really got a lot of use out of it. You may not have the bike up here by the cars and by the garage because you run into both of them. Please go right on the road. Oh, so, goodbye my lovely trailer. I love you.